right, if we're trying to solve these two systems of equations, there's three main methods you can do use. You can either graph it, or you can use elimination, or you can use substitution. Now the, the key is graphing is always going to take longer unless, the, unless they let you use like a calculator or a computer or something like that. It's always going to take longer to graph it. But to be honest with you, it's an, it can be, it's an easy thing to do if you have a graphing calculator and you can punch them in. But this one, even if you wanted to use graphing, you'd have to, to punch this, these two equations into a graphing calculator. You would have to solve them for y because you'd have to do y. Remember, it's like called the y equals button for yeah. graphing. So that's going to take a long time to do. So that wouldn't even make sense here. Whenever you see equations lined up like this in what's called standard, most books call this standard form, where you've got ax plus by equals c, and when it's in that form, it's usually easier just to do the elimination method. And so I'm choosing to use the elimination method because they're already lined up vertically, right? And so you can just take, take your equation and multiply one or both equations by whatever you need to in order to eliminate one of the variables when you add them straight down. Does that make sense? So if I look at this, when I multiply these, this top equation by two, when I multiply it by two, it's gonna make that 2x versus negative 2x, which will add straight down. Now, it's also going to, by chance, it's also going to eliminate the y. So when you eliminate the x and the y, you've got a problem. It's either no solution or an infinite number of solutions. When the x and y both get eliminated, that means the slopes are equal when that happens. So let's just see what happens when I do this. So when I multiply that 2 in to all of those, my equation becomes 2x minus 6y equals 4. And now, when I add straight down, this is my new system, I replace that one with this one. When I add them straight down, the x's go away, I get no x's, the y's go away, I get no y's, and these become 6. 0 equals 6, is that a true statement? No. No, that's not a true statement. So this means that the slopes were equal, but the y-intercepts were different which means we have two parallel lines, which means there are no solutions. Got it? All right, for this other one over here, notice this is different. Are they both in standard form? Are both the equations in standard form? Um, this is standard form. No. No, only one of them is, only the second one is. So what do we have to do to solve this? Well, if it's already solved, if one of them is already solved for one of the variables, use the substitution method. Substitution says that you can just plug that, see this x, x equals 2y, plug it in anywhere you see x in the other equation. So you're, so you're combining these together by, instead of writing the x here, so I rewrote that entire equation out, and instead, instead of plugging in the x, what is x the same as according to the other equation? Plus y. So you plug 2 plus y in here, and now I've, I don't have an x anymore, right? I've only got an equation in terms of y, so I can get y by itself now by performing some algebra. Distribute this in first, so that's negative 6 minus 3y plus 3y equals negative 6. Hey, guess what happened again? All the variables cancel out, but this time what happened when they all cancel out? Negative 6 equals negative 6. That's always true. So what's my solution? Infinite solutions. Does that mean that any number, any point, will make that equation true? Yes. No, it does not. It means that any point on this line will make that equation true. So be careful. Don't say that any, sol any, point, any, any point will work because there's an, plenty of points that won't work. But what you do know is all points on the line, all points on the line will be a solution to that equation, okay? So those are two examples, and those are a little bit unique examples because we got no solutions and infinite solutions. But usually you have an answer where there's just one solution. So let's look at another example. So what if I had three x, negative three x plus 10y equals two. So now this, 
let's solve this system and this time it's going to be one solution because like usually is the case both of the variables aren't going to cancel out so now what method am I going to use here what's the best method for solving this mm, graphing definitely not graphing because remember if it's the, these are both in what form uh, standard form. Correct. And so what's the best method when they're both in standard? Elimination. Elimination method. So what am I going to eliminate? The X or the Y? The Which would be easier to eliminate? The X or the Y? The Y. Mm -hmm. It'd be easier to eliminate the Y because 5, if I multiply 5 by negative 2, it becomes what? 5 by negative 2. If I multiply 5 by negative 2, it turns into negative, negative 10, 10, which will eliminate with the positive 10. You follow? So yeah. I'm going to multiply this entire equation by negative 2. And when I do, remember you have to multiply every term by it. This becomes 4x minus 10y equals negative 6. So there's my new system. And now when I add straight down, what am I going to get? What does that add to? Uh, negative or er, negative 5x positive 1x because that's negative 3 oh, plus bad. 4 what's negative 3 plus 4 negative 3x plus 4x negative 3x plus 4 uh, 1x it's 1x and what happened to the y's um, they cancel they cancel or they get eliminated hence the word elimination method and what happens to these two numbers over here um, they uh, you add them together which is adding them together is 5 negative 4 oh because it's 2. Remember, I'm not looking at this anymore. Oh. I'm looking at my new equation, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm, that's why I crossed this one out. Got it? Got it. So x equals negative 4, and if x equals negative 4, what does y equal? Um, How can I find out what y equals? You subtract that from... We're going to plug this back into the original, either one of the original equations. Let's plug it into this one. What am I plugging in when I write x instead of x? What do I plug in? Uh, negative 10. Negative 4, because that's what I found. Plus 10y oh, no. equals 2. And that becomes 12 plus 10y equals 2. And how do I solve for? Uh, you subtract mm -hmm. 2. Subtract 12. So yeah. it's negative 10. And what does y equal then? Uh, negative 1. Good. So there's my solution.